Hi, my name is Tim Akers, and I am the author of Night Watch, as well as the Howard War trilogy, uh, The Burn Cycle of Books, and uh, The Horns of Ruin. Um, Night Watch is out in September 2020 from Bain, and Bain asked me to do um, a little promotional video talking about the book, uh, the idea behind it, the characters, the setting, all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'll start with the basic elevator pitch. Uh, Night Watch is uh, Men in Black, but at the Renaissance Fair. Um, it's a little difficult to uh, delve into that too deeply without giving out a lot of plot and stuff, but uh, the basic idea is that there's this, um, this mystic world that is hidden just beyond our world, or really kind of overlaid with it. Uh, there are actually dragons and uh, vampires and harpies and um, storm elementals and all that kind of stuff in the real world, um, but reality bends itself to prevent us from realizing it. So instead of appearing as, for example, a dragon, uh, a dragon might appear as a, a suburban tax lawyer uh, or an attorney uh, who has much too much time for CrossFit and is trying to cover up his bald spot and uh, is always sort of, you know, talking about his, his Canadian girlfriend and stuff. So um, that's actually a character in the book, obviously, uh, a guy named Krejcik. Um and uh, the main character in the book is uh, John Rast. He is, uh, he's always felt like he, he was born in the wrong century, by about 600 years, actually. Uh, he really thinks he belongs more among uh, knights and uh, damsels and damsels in distress and, uh, you know, an era of, of heroism and magic swords and, and that sort of stuff, uh, rather than what he actually is, which is, a uh, failed English major um, who is just always disappointed in the modern world, uh, is sick to death of filling out surveys about his toothbrush, and uh, just it doesn't have anything to do with social media or computers or any of that stuff. So um, he goes to Renaissance Fairs to kind of escape that and to have a good time. He does the sword fighting competitions. Uh, it's like it, it's a skill set that he has that has absolutely no value. He's good with a sword, no one cares, you know. <laughs> Uh, it's not it's not really um, really viable in the, in the modern setting. So, uh, but he goes to the Ren Fair with uh, with his best friend Eric. Uh, Eric is a, a fantasy writer. In the this is, there's a lot of me and Eric. I'll be frank. Um, Eric is a uh, he's a, an aspiring fantasy writer who keeps plying uh, John with manuscripts and trying to convince him to to read them. And the problem with the books is there's it's all adjectives and detailed maps, and that's really not a book. It's just kind of, you know, a lot of history, but not really, not really a story there, boss. Um, so uh, Eric's kind of a kind of a funny guy. Um, he's also uh, he goes to this adventure with uh, Chessa Lazaro. Chessa is is his ex girlfriend, uh, and she's always imagined herself as an elven princess, uh, but not in the like, you know, I'm the princess kind of way. More in the uh, warrior princess sort of thing. Uh, and she spent a lot of money on cosplay and uh, goes to the Ren Fair to do the, the archery competition and uh, she's uh, there's always sort of a subset at Ren Fairs of you know the Tolkien elves and she's kind of the queen of the Tolkien elves at their local Ren Fair so uh, and they, they go to the Ren Fair together and they're having a good time and uh, John's doing the sword fighting competition he gets to the finals and he faces this guy Krejcik who is as previously mentioned, a uh, suburban tax attorney uh, with much too much time for CrossFit, and uh, he looks like he's been yelling into a shoebox for the last half hour. He's all bulked out, you know, just angry. And about halfway through the fight, um, Krejcik turns into a dragon and starts. He realizes his his cover's been blown, and so he starts killing people to try to cover up. And it's left to John to uh, save the day. Um, but all he has is a blunt sword and uh, gumption, and that turns out to be enough. Um, but the, the heroes show up uh, to sort of help him, and uh, they end up needing his help to get, to get through it. And that's how the story begins. I want to take a second to look at the, the cover here. Uh, put it over here. And this is the, this is the Todd Lockwood. Uh, I'll have to reverse it to make it make sense. But, um, and man, there's, there's Krejcik, and you can see his bald spot right here. And, there's there's John and his, his jeans and his very expensive boots that his mom uh, got him for his birthday and 
you know, his blunt sword. Man, he's just doing the best he can. Uh, and it's, it's almost good enough. And then there's the, this pennant here that uh, someone took the time to put up and then Krejcik set on fire because he's just kind of an asshole. So uh, that's Nightwatch. Uh, it's, it's a great book. Um, very excited about the cover. I'm very excited about the release. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, what, what influenced the book in a lot of cases, or in a lot of ways, was uh, I did a lot of unfair stuff in college. Uh, where I live, there, there really wasn't a, a society for creative anachronism presence. Um, and so some friends and I got together and we did our own thing. We got PVC and duct tape and uh, pipe insulation and we made swords out of that and just beat the crap out of each other every weekend. And uh, we had noble houses and feasts and uh, wooing competitions, which I was not good at. Uh, turns out that's not a thing that an English majors are really excel at. Um, but we had a lot of fun. And uh, every year we'd go up to, every summer we'd go up to the, the local Ren Fair and uh, freak out the mundanes and just, just have a good time. And um, this is sort of a love letter to those days, to, uh, to Ren Fairs, to the SCA, uh, to people who like heroes and uh, really think they probably are born in the wrong century. Uh, this is the book for you. All right. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, please let me know. My Twitter handle is Tim Akers. Uh, you can probably find me online. There's two Tim Akers in the world. One of them is a semi-famous um, artist or a musician in Nashville, Tennessee. That's not me. I'm the other one. <laughs> so anyway, uh, drop me a line. Thanks, guys.